what is up everybody it is three wheel Khalil and as you can see it is a beautiful day down here in sunny South Florida an even more beautiful day to be riding a Riker and while I ride today I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a review my thoughts and opinions on a really big mod as of late which are the Baja Ron sway bar and links myself personally I installed them a few days ago so I'll be going in the past in this video unboxing those for you and uh, showing you them installed on the Riker and then just giving you my honest feedback my honest opinion so stick with me What's up y'all? It's your boy Three Wheel Khalil and I'm here with a couple of little accessories that I've got for the Riker. Um, just a couple things that have come from some really cool people in the Can-Am community. Uh, let's start with this one which comes from a guy named Earl Engel. Um, if you're in and you're active on the Facebook uh, Can-Am Riker uh, groups, you'll probably know about these 3D printed uh, wheel caps that he's making. <laughs> Oh man, that's cool. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me step back and, and check it out, see if you can see it. We'll get this to focus. Yeah, that's super cool. So, that's uh, Earl's logo there. That's kind of like his thing. It's like uh, Butters from South Park. So I thought that that's actually super cool. Didn't know that was going to be there, but I love that little Easter egg, man. Keep doing your thing. So. These are the little Riker wheel caps. I think they look really awesome. Earl said he actually just went through a redesign of these bad boys, so this is kind of his V2 version. But they look really good. They feel very solid. And I love 3D printed stuff, man. It's just, I don't know, it's just cool to kind of support someone who has either locally designed it or tinkered with it and come up with their own recipe. and. Um, I think uh, Earl basically kind of he found a, a design for it and then you know built on that and built his own version of it and uh, I think it's super cool. Definitely uh, feel free to reach out to him if you want to check out these caps. <laughs> now I'm gonna take a sip. I'm not sponsored by these guys. But Accomplice Cider Works, this is a local cider brewery close to me down here in Florida, in West Palm Beach, Florida. Amazing ciders. This is their Bluelius Caesar, which is a blueberry apple wine type deal. It's delicious. And the next thing... You guys have heard it a thousand times right now. This is like the most popular thing on the block. This came from Ron, and you can imagine which Ron I'm talking about. I'm talking about Baja Ron. And I've got a pair of the infamous sway bar and links. And I cut up his instructions there getting into it, but I think I'll be fine without those couple words there. <laughs> But uh, I'm excited. So if you guys want any, these are Baja Ron. I don't know if you guys can see that. Did that focus? Yeah, it did. So that's Baja Ron right there, man. This is what I got. A pair of the simple gray links. Again, I told you guys, I kind of like to keep things nice and clean and, and casual. So. I went with the silver links for my bike. And got the instructions and I'm probably about to do it right now. I think you guys have seen enough videos on how to do it. So my video, when I talk about it, will be more about the difference in having it, not having it. Um, and, and if it lives up to the hype, because there's definitely a lot, a lot, a lot of hype concerning the Baja Ron. 
links, actually also the Spider extra links, but in general, replacing, going to an aftermarket link from the Can-Am links. So these are the ones I've got from Baja Ron. I think they look really nice, feel pretty solid. Excited to get one. Pretty easy installation, guys. Just finished up here. I was actually on the phone with my older brother uh, for most of the time while I was working on it. So it didn't take the utmost concentration, but nonetheless, easy process, solid product. It definitely feels a lot more high quality than the original plastic piece in there. The only thing I'll say about the installation is that there are these spacers that have to go on either end of the sway bar end link, and the one that is inside on the bottom toward the frame is a little bit of a pain, but if you kind of tilt the whole uh, sway bar end link assembly back and let that spacer sit on top and fall into place as you push it in, it actually works pretty well. Let's go. So I'm back on the road to give you guys my first impressions of the sway bar end links. I've actually been riding around on these links for about the past four days, and I have formulated somewhat of an opinion on the upgrade. Now, for the price and the impact of the upgrade, I'd say that it's definitely worth it. Uh, 20 to 30 minutes of your time in terms of installation is super easy. You know, uh, I think almost anybody with a wrench and a little bit of patience can do the upgrade. And for the price of the upgrade being under 100 bucks, it's really not restrictive to, to most people who are going to own a Riker anyway. So I think it's a worthwhile upgrade. Now, to people who say the difference is night and day, me and them would disagree. I can't say that I think that the handling performance is night and day from when I have uh, these links installed now and prior to me installing. Now, I do think that it does give me a more firm steering feel, a little bit of a heavier steering feel, and it makes it feel just a touch more planted, gripped. Uh, I feel like I can kind of move through the lanes just a, a hair more controlled. Uh, I definitely don't feel as jittery uh, when I'm making lane movements uh, but again it's not something that I'm like oh immediately I can put my finger on exactly how this improves my writing capabilities how this improves the performance it's more nuanced than you would you know imagine based on how people talk about it um, now after a certain speed once you're you know above 80 above 85 uh, not that you should ever be doing that type of speed you're not going to be completely solid planted even with these sway bar elements. And maybe that's not what they're really for. Maybe you know uh, the sway bar and complete kit could help out a little bit there. But in general, to me, the things that kind of push that are the push you get from 18 wheelers and stuff like that. That is what's going to kind of affect you. Plus, you know me, guys, I don't use a windscreen, so I still get wind buffeting which still kind of moves me around a little bit however prior to adding these sway bar end links i was comfortable at highway speeds after these uh, sway bar end links i am still very comfortable at highway speeds i'd say the difference is still fractions in terms of how much more comfortable i am now what i will tell you actually is that i was more surprised uh, in lower speed maneuvers than I was at higher speed. At higher speed I felt about the same, maybe a little bit more planted um, when I'm sitting in a lane, still getting pushed around by 18 wheelers and stuff like that, but again, all of that has always felt pretty controlled to me, um, and maybe that's because the Riker was my first kind of motorcycling experience. I adapted to that and kind of learned that rather than comparing it to other experiences um, however off the highway 25 miles to 50 miles an hour I mean even 5 miles to 15 miles an hour 
it definitely feels uh, like a heavier steering feel. It feels a little bit more controlled when I'm going around like a tight roundabout. Sometimes I like to just kind of keep it as tight as possible on that roundabout just to feel how much control I have over the Riker. And I feel like I do have a little bit more control with this sway bar and link kit. Now I will say, when I say heavier steering feel, I really do mean that though. Um, it does make that no, you know, uh, lack of power steering even more noticeable when you are first starting out driving it. When I first back out of my driveway and I'm, you know, pivoting the bike one way, I feel like I really feel that weight up front in terms of the steering, the lack of power steering. So that's something that you might have to wrestle with personally, but uh, I think it's still definitely a worthwhile upgrade. I wouldn't skip it just because of, you know, that potential drawback, the slight weight increase to the handling. I think it, it definitely can help settle people who feel like the Riker is too twitchy for them and uh, I think it could could help you I don't I never personally had too much of that like twitch anxiety um, that I've seen but for me personally I do think this is definitely still an upgrade it's definitely worthwhile at the cost why not do it um, but is it going to literally overhaul how the bike performs that's hard to say that's hard to say because you know maybe if you had big doubts about the bike before this then then you would feel that way if you didn't have big doubts about the bike then uh, you're probably not going to feel that way so i didn't feel that way i feel like it is an improvement a slight improvement if the record uh, handling was a 6 out of 10 before, then it's a 7 out of 10 now, so um, 1 point for 80 bucks it's a pretty good deal, pretty good deal uh, so I took this little bit of the non-scenic route to get down to downtown West Palm Beach uh, find a little spot to set up my hammock on this uh, afternoon, just to relax, I was going to try and read a book and uh crank out some emails for uh, for the channel and kind of get some things rolling. I'm really happy to announce that we've just crossed over the 1,000 mile mark. And by 1,000 miles, I mean 1,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for participating in the channel, for subscribing, for commenting on the videos, for liking the videos. I've got some really cool stuff in the works uh, for our 1,000 subscriber kind of celebration. Because I'm so thankful for the community that we've built. I know when I post a video, I know that there are going to be people giving me their honest opinions, their stories, you know, and uh, I get just as much information from the community as I give to the community. So it's really an awesome place to kind of exist outside of uh, the confines of, of daily life. So I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for being a part of the channel. I hope you guys stick with me as we continue to grow and um, you know, mess around with different things and, and see what works and see what doesn't. So I appreciate it. And let's continue riding. Let's check out my little hammock spot up the street. And, uh, and from there, I'll give you guys my final impressions of the Baja Ron kit. And uh, we'll finish up for the day.
What's up guys? It's Three Wheel Khalil. I found a different little hammocking spot here. Um, so I thought I'd stop and give you guys a quick update on how I feel about the Baja Ron Sway Bar and Lynx. I think that they are an improvement over the stock Lynx. I think it firms up the steering a little bit. I just, I do think uh, maybe the height is a little, a little elevated for the, the results that you actually get by just replacing the sway bar and links. I think what it does, in my opinion, it feels like it adds some weight um, to the steering and, uh, you know, kind of makes, you know, makes the impact a little bit. So it's like, if you felt like it was a little twitchy before, maybe, you know, this would kind of firm up that steering a little bit, add a little bit more weight to that steering, and make it feel a little bit more supple um, when you're trying to maneuver out here on the road. So I think it's a good improvement. I just don't think it's you know necessarily the be-all, end-all of Riker mods, as some people are claiming that it is. That being said, for 80 bucks or 70 bucks, however much it, it was, I think it was a pretty good improvement. Um, and I think it's a worthwhile upgrade. I just say, you know, tamper your expectations on whether you think it's gonna, you know, just drastically overhaul the performance of the bike. I think that the, the handling is uh, pretty good without it, to be honest. Uh, but hey, everybody has their own opinions. Buy it, form your own. I think that it's, I think it's definitely worth the money. I think it's a better piece than the stock pieces. Uh, just a better like peace of mind of, of possibly having any sort of breakage in that sway bar end link or something like that. That's just a much more solid piece. And I think Baja Ron, um, I think he's a sharp guy. I think he's got some good products and uh, I wouldn't hesitate recommending it to other people. I just say tamper your expectations. I think there's a little bit of group thing going on with, uh, you know, how, how performance oriented uh, this modification really is. I think it's a good modification, but it's, again, not the best thing in the world. Sorry for the wind noise, guys. I just wanted to thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. Thank you for everything that we've been able to accomplish here. I wanna hear about all of your new Riker mods soon. And uh, hey, let's get into it soon. Remember, life's more fun on three wheels. Peace.